If you're in the process of producing your first Warrior Forum WSO post, the process of inserting a PayPal button can be a daunting task. On, on, it's very difficult to find good information on how exactly to do it. So in this video, I'm going to show you one quick method to insert your PayPal button into your ad. Once you log into your PayPal account, click on Merchant Services. This will bring up this page where you can either click on Website Payment Standard or Buy Now button. Now that you've reached this uh, page, it's simply a matter of filling in some blanks. Uh, depending on what it is that you're promoting, if it's a single item, it'll be a buy now. It could also be for a subscription, and there's some other options in here. Then you're going to type in your item name and the price, and you may have some reason to add these features, but normally you would not. Uh, normally wouldn't be any shipping on a WSO, but if there was, you could add the shipping in uh, this part. Uh, taxes, uh, that is uh, a feature that's normally saved in your uh, PayPal profile and depending on what state you live in it may or may not add those automatically and then you have the choice of using either your secure merchant account or your primary email address uh, in this case I'm going to use my secure merchant account and now when you finish that go down and click on customize advanced features on this page you can make some choices so there's a choice of uh, allowing your customer to change the order quantities this is a uh, something you wouldn't normally do uh, allow your customer to add special instructions. I don't have need for that, but you could allow that if you wanted to. Do you need your customer shipping address? Not for this, because it's digital delivery. Uh, on this one, if you check this, you could put a domain name in here to a web page that you'll send them to in case for some reason their payment fails. You might give them some instructions. That, uh, you know, if your PayPal is not working, you want to make some other arrangements, contact me, however you want to handle a, a cancellation. This is the important one, where you want them to go once they complete their payment. Now, I might urge you to use some caution here. It's very common for, for people that don't have a lot of experience delivering digital products to, to make a folder called download or downloads or shipped or some, some, some item like that that makes it convenient for them to place their files in that they're going to ship. The problem with that is that some dishonest people can find it very easily to take your domain and by searching common words of this nature, find your download folder. So it's not a bad idea to make this, if, if you're not going to use a cloak link, if you have a, a, a link cloaker that's even better, but if not, something very unusual here, just a, a lot of gibberish, okay? Uh, and that way it makes it a little more difficult for someone that's dishonest to get to your stuff. And then scroll down and click on create the button. Now for the purposes of a DSO, or I'm sorry, a, a WSO, this is extremely important. Normally you would copy this code right here. For, a, for an HTML page or a blog or something of that nature. But for your, your WSO, you want to click on email and copy this link. And let's go and I'll show you what to do with this link. One more thing you'll need to do uh, before we leave this page. Uh, you're going to need a, a, an image of a Buy Now button. So you can get it here by right clicking on this and click on save image as or if you have a program like GIMP or Snagit you can copy it. So you're going to copy that image and save that to your domain. Save it in your image folder. And now let's go back to uh, Warrior Form and actually insert this. We need to now insert that button, the image of the button that we copied. So if you click on the insert image and then put in the link to the uh, place on your domain, the folder where you save that button, click OK. And now we have the button in there, and it's just a matter of centering it. And now our, the next task we have is to insert the link. 
click on the button again and then click on the on the hyperlink and now you're going to insert that PayPal email link that we saved click OK and now let's go out and take a look at our button all right here's the button in the ad. Now remember this was a blank ad so there's nothing else in here except the PayPal button but now when we click on the PayPal button hopefully it will take us over to our PayPal purchase so that's it that's the whole process and it's very very simple once you've done it once but if you can imagine trying to figure this out on your own uh, it, it could take you hours so uh, hopefully we'll help to you uh, get up and get started very quickly thank you for watching our video